understand and you'll be able to understand what's happening. <laughs> he said, what animals are in Asia? Elephant. A big elephant. Tigers. <laughs> what other animals do they have in the jungle? Monkeys. Yeah. Oh, that was another question. They said, do they have, are there poisonous snakes? Are there snakes in... Yes, big pythons, isn't it? The Burmese python is the big one. It can swallow a whole monkey in it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What is the weather like? You have two sorts. You have the monsoon weather where it rains continuously for a few months and then you have bright sunshine. Well, it's sunny most of the time. Yeah. But you have... Two weathers. You have the rainy season and then you have the hot weather. It's oh. really two two types. Oh. You have a season of rains all the time, continuous rain, and then you have sunshine, bright sunshine, and it's so hot that y you know you just hope for the rainy weather. Someone else said, "Are oh, there beaches? Did yes. you did you live near a beach?" No, the beach is sort of further away. I lived in town. Yeah. But the beach sort of, you know, you're more next to the seaside. Yeah. It's got a coast, isn't it? It's not. Yes, it has a coast. The houses. Yes, they happen still. But because of the rainy season, the rain falls so high. That, that's why they have to have in stills. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Because the rainfall is so heavy. Yeah. It's high. So that's why they have to have in stills. English, when the English ruled, it used to be Burma. And then when they had independence, they changed. Independence, 40... Seven forty eight. They changed it to. They wanted to call it Myanmar. The main thing is because they grow a lot of rice. Rice is their main staple food because they grow rice in the paddy fields, isn't it? Mm. So their main thing is rice and fish because they live near the coast, so they eat a lot of rice and fish. Yeah, and. Someone said, what is, um, do they eat curry? Yeah, they make the, the fish into curry. And they said, what is your favourite, what is your favourite curry? Coconut curry with, um, a fish. Wait, is it Mohinga? Oh, that's fish, yes. They make it, they call it the poor man's curry because you buy fish and you put a lot of gravy and onions because vegetables are cheap in Burma. You know, onions and garlic. So you make it a lot of gravy. So that's what they call Mohinga a lot. Mo means pasta stuff. And the Hinga means curry, gravy. So it's curry and rice sort of thing. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Pagodas. Yeah. They originally they were made really because Burma at that time when it first started was so rich. They actually made the pagodas of gold leaf. There's Pure real gold. gold. Yes, gold leaf. When I say gold leaf, they flatten it and they 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 flatten it and they paste it on to the pagoda. Yes, they have a, a top, like a jacket, with buttons at the side, three at the side and one at the bottom, and they fold over, they flap over, and they put the they put the buttons on into loops. And, and then they have they have the skirt. Don't forget, it's called a L O N G Y I a longi sarong. It's called that. Yeah, it's a Burmese. Where you, it's a it's a big cold sort of skirt, 
but they don't just wear it a skirt, they flap over. Whereas the men tie it like, you know how you do pajamas? The men tie it up into a knot. They're different. They wear the same sort of round thing, but the men wear it in a, in a top. You know, they twist it and tuck it in the middle, whereas the women take it and fold it into the side. That's the difference. They all wear the same type of material and, you, you know, sort of long dress, but one folds it over, one tucks it in. Boat and air. Well, I came by boat, so make it easier. <laughs> yeah. How long did it take you on a boat, Nan? About two weeks. Two weeks on a boat three weeks yeah they used to have sort of really dances and uh, you sort of you lived on the boat for about two weeks you you literally lived on the boat that sounds nice it does sound nice Simple. it's better than going in a plane <laughs> you know how to say hello i don't know how to say hello but how are you means ma ma Mm. Next word, Y-E-T, Maya, Maya, La, H-L-A, Maya, La. How are you? Chinde, Chinde. It's called Chinde, means the mythical lion. They always have them on the pagodas. You see them on the pagodas lying there, because... In the olden days, apparently, they used to worship them. Enter the pagodas in Burma, you always have these lions on either side to enter. They're sort of, they're used to, mythical lions where they sort of worship them. Yeah. In the olden days. Nanny, I think you've answered all the questions. 